Assalamu alaikum, I am Muhammad Shahrukh. I watched a video on Bebom YouTube channel about top 10 developer preview features of Android O. And then it was a great video, a very pretty video. You should watch it, links in the description. But then I felt like Android O developer preview features, some of the features are already available on MIUI version 8. So I am here with the video. I merged those guys videos with mine so you could understand what those features are which is already available in MIUI. So let's get started. The first Android O feature I am going to talk about is the improved notifications. Google has been refining the notification center since Lollipop and they are not done yet. Android O brings notification channels which lets you configure notifications of different categories of an app. Let me explain it to you. For instance, there is a notification from the Android system like the battery notification. Well, you can just press hold on it to see different notification categories. Here you can set up the notification for all these categories. So you can make sure that you don't get notifications of screenshots but get notifications of storage alerts. You can even set the importance if you want to see the badge or LED light or not. There's so much control. While no apps support this yet, that should change. Another cool notification feature is the ability to snooze notifications. This is something I already like. You can just slowly swipe a notification, tap on the clock icon to snooze it. You can snooze a notification for 15 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour. While apps will be able to update a notification, the updated notification will only arrive after the snooze time is over. Other than that, there is also support for notification badges, something that users have demanded Google over the years. Well, it should be similar to iOS and various launches that support this. I certainly like the notification changes in Android O. Talking about the notifications in Android O and MIUI, yes, the Android O is more advanced. But let me tell you that MIUI is also not that far behind. We can access the notification bar just by swiping down any part of the screen. We don't only need to swipe from the top edge, but we can swipe from any part of the screen from any screen to access the notification bar, which makes it very convenient to access in one-handed mode. The next feature is hiding the notification. Yes, we can hide the notification in MIUI too. But first of all, let me tell you that you can hide the notification just by swiping left and right on the floating notification, which is not available in Android O. So to hide the notification, just swipe down the notification bar and then swipe left the notification and then tap on the hide notification button and then tap on hide. After it, your notification will be hidden from that app and it can be done from any app for any app. It is very convenient to use, but let me tell you that Android O has a snooze notification feature which makes it convenient to hide notif notification for some time, which is very good. The next thing is notification customization menu, which is also present in Android O and MIUI. Just tap and hold the notification and you will get the notification customization menu as in Android O. Here you get the show notification option, which is as same as block all notification of Android O. But in Android O, you don't get the option of priority. What is priority? So priority is the option to have your notification on top of all other notification. If you set some notification at priority, that notification will come on top of every notification. All the notification will go below, but that notification will stay on top so that you can access it easily. It is very convenient feature if you want it if you want your notification to stay on top because if you get too many notifications you will not be having very much problem after using this feature the next feature is app icon badge which is available in MIUI version 5 MIUI version 6 7 and 8 also which is very very old feature but introduced in android o just now we also get the we also get the option of floating notification lock screen notification sound vibration notification light controls which is very convenient and also we can directly control the app settings just by tapping the app settings which is very good so overall the so overall the miui is not that far behind Like NuGet, Android O brings improvements to the quick settings. In Android O, tapping on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth tiles in quick settings 
simply toggles the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to on or off. However, you can still tap on the text under the icons to open the additional options. It saves the tap and I certainly like it more. Release. Yes, this option is also available in MIUI. Just swipe down the notification, then swipe the toggles and then tap the text below the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth and you will be having the quick settings which is very convenient to use which is a very great feature and very fast too. You must have seen two shortcuts on the bottom corners of the lock screen in your Android device. While they're handy, especially the camera one, you must have wished there was an option to add custom shortcuts. Well, Google has heard you. In the system UI tuner options, there is a lock screen option that lets you set custom shortcuts for the left icon and the right. You can choose to launch an app, toggle a setting or head to a particular page in an app. You can also choose to unlock the phone through these shortcuts. Another great addition. The custom lock screen shortcuts are also available in MIUI. You can see that on my lock screen, swiping left leads you to the camera and swiping right leads you to the calendar. But we can change it. How? Just go to the settings, then go to the lock screen and password and then go to the lock screen shortcuts and here you will get the custom lock screen shortcuts. Just change for any app. Just tap on app and then set it as any app as you want to the left and right which is very easy and very accessible. Yeah, we finally have some navigation bar customizations in Android O. It's not much but it's there. In the system UI tuner page, you can change the layout of the navigation bar to compact, left leaning or right leaning. You can even add extra buttons like clipboard, key code or keyboard switcher. Considering this is just the first preview, I hope more navigation bar options arrive in the future update. The custom navigation bar is not supported in my phone as my phone is not having any navigation bar because my phone is having navigation buttons which is hardware keys. But what? We can also change the hardware keys layout just by going to settings, then tapping on the additional settings, then tapping on the buttons and then tapping on the navigation buttons, you will get the option of changing the navigation button layouts. We can place menu button on the left and back button on the right or we can place back button on the left and menu button on the right which is very convenient and easy. It changes the hardware buttons too and also the software buttons if you enable it by rooting your device. So it is a very good option and it is present in MIUI from MIUI version 8. Android TVs have had support for a picture in picture mode and it's finally coming to phones and tablets through Android O. So you will now be able to shrink an app to a floating window and multitask between other apps. In its current state, YouTube seems to support it as it includes a toggle for allowing PIP. However, even with the toggle on, I couldn't get picture in picture to work on the YouTube app. We should get a clearer idea of Android's PIP mode once some apps start supporting it. Nonetheless, it should be pretty good. The picture-in-picture -picture mode is not supported in Android O as of yet, but let me tell you that MIUI does support it in some aspects. Just open the browser, then open any video from the YouTube or from any website, then play any video. After playing that video, you will get the option of picture-in-picture -picture mode. Just tap on the top corner and then your picture will be out. You will get the picture in picture mode, you can increase its size and you can decrease its size also. You can place it anywhere and then do your work. So it is a very convenient thing to use your phone dual handed or one handed just by using this. So it is very good. Google has been trying to improve battery life on Android devices since Marshmallow and the trend continues. In Android O, there is a high level of restrictions placed on app activities when the device is asleep. Background apps in Android O devices will only be able to ask for the location a few times in an hour. There will also be limitations when it comes to broadcasts and background services. There is a lot of technical jargon involved, but the bottom line is that Google is working even harder to extend your device's battery. Yes, the battery saving feature is also present in MIUI. 
which I think is more advanced than Android O. Just go to settings, then tap on the battery and performance, then tap on manage apps battery usage and then you will get the option of power saving mode. This option if you turn it on or off, it will restrict the activity, background activities and no apps will run in the background and it will give you more battery. But also you can choose per app settings of their activity. Like each app can be used like a better camera. You can restrict its background, restrict background activity, MIUI battery saver and there are lots of options for each app. So it is a very convenient feature and I think that this feature is better than any other available today. Another change in Android O is the newly designed settings page, which is an update or downgrade you decide. It's certainly more organized now with various options bundled in one option like network and internet. Also the new minimal interface looks good. However, there's no hamburger menu which was introduced in NuGet and I don't like the fact that the about phone and developer options have moved to a new system page. Talking about the interface of settings, the interface of setting on MIUI I think is better than Android O because it is more organized and more paged style we can access each and every feature just in hand we also get the options like additional settings where many settings are placed so this option gives many things like system apps installed apps different features and to control each app settings android o brings adaptive icons and while you can't see it in action in the first developer preview it seems awesome Adaptive icons, as the name suggests, are icons that will adapt to different home screen themes. So if you're using a theme with rounded icons, all apps with adaptive icons, which will easily switch over to a round shape. You must be wondering, where are the theming options? Well, they seem to be coming in the future. Adaptive icons also get spacing on their sides for animations. Looks cool, right? Yes, the incredible adaptive icons. MIUI has it from long way before. Not only the icons are adaptive, but let me tell you, the notification bar of MIUI is also adaptive, which changes according to the weather. Here you see the weather is 34 degrees. If I turn it on, you will see that the 34 degrees is the real weather as of now. The notification bar you see here is changes, the theme of it changes according to the weather. So if the, there is rain, you will see the rain in the notification bar, which is very good in terms of adaptive icons and adaptive notification bar. Also you will see here it is calendar, which is showing 25th date and today is 25th of March, which is very good. Again, it is adaptive. The clock here you see, the clock here you see, it is showing the time 1.14 as it is the time 114 so it is both adaptive and live icons it also changes its color according to the themes if you change the themes of any MIUI the icons will also be changed according to the theme so the icons are adaptive and very good and beautiful guys while android o is having numerous of features but MIUI is also having those features and some features better than that but let us see what happens next when Android O officially release? It is just a developer version, so we can expect more and more features to come out sooner or later. So stay tuned with my channel, do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.